Give Donald Trump this much. He's never at a loss for words or a platform. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. President. This morning, calling into Fox News and letting loose on pretty much everything. They have a witch hunt against the president of the United States going on. Slamming his own Justice Department over its investigation of his personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, himself in court this morning after this month's FBI raid at his office. Cohen's business dealings are at issue, but he also oversaw that so-called hush money payment to porn actress Stormy Daniels over her alleged one-night stand with Trump. Today, the president downplayed his ties with Cohen. Well, as a percentage of my overall legal work, a tiny, tiny little fraction. But Michael would represent me and represent me on some things. He represents me like with this uh, crazy Stormy Daniels deal. But that's the closest Trump has linked himself to the Daniels allegations. Then there's White House Dr. Ronnie Jackson. Doc Ronnie, you know, we call him Doc Ronnie. Who today withdrew as Trump's pick to run the Veterans Affairs Department under allegations he'd played loose with prescription drugs and alcohol, dubbed by some the Candyman. All of it, said Trump, false. Just an incredible man, an incredible man. And all of that as Trump's embattled head of the Environmental Protection Agency was grilled on Capitol Hill for, among other things, installing a $43,000 private phone booth in his office, today denying he'd done anything untoward. Facts are facts and fiction is fiction. And a lie doesn't become truth just because it appears on the front page of the newspaper. Trump told Fox News these are busy days. In fact, for wife Melania's birthday today. I got a beautiful card and some beautiful flowers. Adding, it's all he had time for. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.